All right, what we're looking at here is number 76 from the HSE Grade 10 workbook. Um, what we need to do is to draw this little triangle as an isometric view, um, and I need to go through how we go about doing that. Okay, to start with, um, you've basically got this little blank page over here, and we need to create a auxiliary view to start with. I'm going to draw a construction line over here, and I'm going to measure off on that construction line the length that they ask us to use, which is 60 millimeters. Okay, so I measure off 60 millimeters, and I mark that off there, and over there, and I can darken that in if I want. This can be done as a, uh, a construction line thing, uh, if you don't want to have an auxiliary view on your drawing, but for most exam purposes, they insist on seeing the auxiliary view. All right, once you've got that, you extend your pair of compasses out to that length of 60, and you can make an arc, go across to the other side and make an arc. At that point over there, I can now draw my triangle that I need to draw onto my view. Right, this is an equilateral triangle, which means that all the sides are equal. Um, right, it also has a, um, an apex because it is a pyramid, so how do I find that? Well, I'm going to draw a 30 degree line coming in over there. I'm going to draw a 90 degree line coming across there, and I'm going to draw another 30 degree line coming across over there. Once I've got that, I can now go about drawing a fish tank. What I need for, from a fish tank is some sides, which is going to give me the length, the breadth, and the height of the fish tank. All right? Note over here, this length over here is not the same as that length over there. Right, so I come down over here, and I'm going to draw my fish tank in. I'm just going to use this red pen over here. Let's do that, and do that. Um, note where point A is. Is it touching the triangle? Okay, it is not touching the triangle. There is point A. I need to figure out how far back do I need to go in order to find, for, um, how far back from point A do I need to go in order to find that corner over there? How far back? Well, do I have that measurement? I've got that because of my auxiliary view. I can say, there is point A, and I need to move that far back to find that point at the back corner. So I'm going to take that across, mark that off, and let's call that point B over there. Let's call that point B. I've found point B now. All right? I can then say, well, how far across must I go in order to find this point over here? Let's call it point C. Call that point C. How far across? I need to go that far across. I go find point A down here, and I mark that off. There is point C. Okay? And once I've got that, well, I can then join B and C up. There is B going to C, so I can draw a line coming across from B to C. Okay. C then goes across a little bit further to that point over there. Or I can take this measurement from A all the way across to this point over here. I'm going to call it point Z. Okay? I'm going to take a line all the way across on my fish tank to point Z. From that point over there, I can take a line going back from point Z. And I can take a line going across from point B. If you look at it, there's a line going back from point Z and a line going back from point B. Let's call that point over there, let's call it D. Okay, so from point B to point D, I have a line going back and there is point D over there. Right, let's try and find where the apex of this thing is. Okay, we're going to call the apex zero. It says that the apex is 60 millimeters in height. How do I find that? Well. I'm going to draw my fish tank over here. I'm going to take lines up.
and I'm going to measure off 60 millimeters. Let's measure off 60 millimeters. There it is. And I can now draw in the fish tank top of this thing. There. And there. And there. And there. And once I've got that, I can then say, well, what distance from the back line, BD, what is that distance over there? I can take that distance from that back line. I can mark it. Where is BD? There's BD at the back there. I can mark that. And I can draw a line going across over here. Just a construction line. That distance that I've got there is that distance over there. And then I can say, well, how far back How far back from that point at the top do I need to go in order to find, um, sorry, how far across from this line over here at the top, how far across must I go? Well, I've got that distance from there to there. I can take that and I can place that there. If you've drawn accurately, this line over here will actually intersect with that point. Why? Because it's finding the middle of that line anyway. Okay, so there we go. And I can then take lines which are going to go up to the top there. Let's just draw that in. Line going to the top there. And a line going to the top there. All right. And uh, at this stage, you are actually finished the drawing. You just need to darken that in. Let me just darken those two lines in. The problem is most of you are looking at that and going, well, it doesn't make any sense. It's just like a flat triangle thing. But if I come along here and I say, well, let's put some hidden detail in, you'll probably go, oh, there it is. There's the shape that I'm looking for. There's hidden detail going across there. Can you see that I've got a line going from D to C? There's D at the back going to C. And I've got a line going across from B to D as hidden detail. And I've got a line going from D up to the apex as hidden detail. And now suddenly it's beginning to, to take some sort of shape um, that you would recognize as being the drawing that you just drew from the orthographic projection. Make sense? What's the secret here? Drawing an auxiliary view and then finding the distances from like point A to point B. There it is. And finding the distance from point A to point C. And then finding where the apex is, finding what that distance is from that back line. There it is, drawing a line across. What is the distance from there to there? There it is, there it is, and I can label that as point zero. Not too difficult.